Hey folks, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to put this video together, but you know what? I just spent the last like two hours of a night I didn't have to try and figure out this SWIRC connector. Oh, the flashlight blocked it out. And uh, man, it is so confusing. Um, I don't really know why, but I'm going to just break it down. Here's the part I've watched so many of these videos and here's what I really wanted to know that I finally figured out. So let's do two pieces. One piece, this module here only has three wires we care about, the white one, and we should pay close attention to it's actually the white one, because if you pay close attention here, you can see they've kind of stuck a resistor inside there, and if you use the white one with the blank, uh, black line, because I thought they were all connected, they kind of aren't. There's a resistor in there. White one, red one just goes straight to your, you know, same red one on your stereo. And there's a black negative. Now, the black negative, this is kind of confusing, but it's not when you see it all done up. And this connector up here, you've probably seen a million of these if you've been looking as many, long as I have. This top right corner here, um, so here's the little clicky part as your reference point. This top right corner is your ground specifically for the controls. This is not the same radio ground. It's a completely different ground that there is no wires for in your standard metra whatever you want to call it kit there's no wires for that or there's no wires within the plug of that and the second part here is this wire here i just ripped it right out of there just because it's only going to ever get used for this but it's technically pin one two three it's that third slot right there but i just pulled it out and attached it here so when i put all those together and here's how you know whether you're on the right track or not see this little module here once you turn accessory on, you know, turn your accessory on, and then, uh, this is assuming you've already programmed it uh, to the uh, the right version number, which is version 7 on an Odyssey, and for, or sorry, version 7 for uh, Pioneer Deck, that's what number 7 means, and then you've pushed that button to the 3 setting, the program button, uh, which is in the instructions. The next part you have to do is the programming, and this part was confusing to me. So, I've successfully got this all working, so I'm going to explain to you how you do it. What you do is, first of all, um, you turn accessory on, as I mentioned, then you come back over here, and what you need to do is push that button on and hold it for a couple of seconds. Uh, so you don't, you put accessory on first with it not being pushed, then you come back over here and you push it once and you let it sit for a few seconds and you pull your finger off, okay? Now, technically right now, the light should still be on, okay? Now, what you're going to do, and this is how you're going to know that everything's wired up properly or not, is you're going to come over to your stereo controls right there, sorry, and you're going to start by pushing volume up, volume down, then you have to push mode, I'm pretty sure, and then... No, I've got that wrong. Volume up, volume down. Come back here, push that program button, a little bit on the slow side, one, two, three, to skip because we don't have a mute and we don't have a preset one and two. Come back here, push mode for source, push channel up, push channel down. You can do that pretty fast. You don't have to worry about waiting a few seconds. And then you're gonna come back over here and just wait your pretty self because here, Sorry about the flashlight. Here, you're then going to let that go flash, flash, flash. Three flashes means that it saved the programming. And then you're going to let it do flash, 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 which means I'm version three. You know, um, and that's the same three flash you see when you first turn it on the first time. Then on, if you know you've done this all correctly, what you'll see is whenever the accessory is on, all these buttons over here, all of them, will make that red light illuminate every time you push them. That's how you know you've got it all right. Now I'm gonna go and clean up all these wires with zap straps and um, proper butt connectors and everything else. Uh, but somebody out there is gonna probably wanna watch this video and go, oh, thank God somebody's explained this black and white to me.